Well, it's a very great pleasure for us this evening to say hello to an up-and-coming Merseyside group, the Beatles. And I know their names, and I'm going to try and put faces to them. Now, you're John Lennon, aren't yes, you? Yes, that's right. What do you do in the group, John? I play harmonica, rhythm, guitar, yes. and vocal. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it. Harmonica, rhythm, guitar, and vocal. Then there's Paul McCartney, that's yeah, you. That's me, yeah. And what do you do? Play bass, guitar, and uh, sing, <laughs> I think. Oh, you know, that's, that's what they quite say. Quite apart from being vocal. Yeah, well, yes, yeah. yeah same time. Then there's George Harrison. Mm, how do you do? How do you do? Mm. What, what's your job? Uh, lead guitar and sort of singing. Mm -hmm. By playing lead guitar, does that mean you're sort of leader of the group, or are no, you...? No, no, just... Well, you see, the other guitars, the rhythm. Yeah. Ting, ting, so ting, you It's see. solo guitar, you see. John and is, in fact, the leader of the group. Yeah. I don't know whether we caught that or not, but uh, I hope it went in. Yeah. And over in the background here, and also in the background of the group, but making a lot of noise, is Ringo Starr. Hello. You're new to the group, aren't you? Yes, um, nine weeks now. Mm -hmm. uh, were you in on the act when the recording was made? Of yes, Me I'm on the record. Yeah, you're <laughs> on the disc. I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's down on record, you know. <laughs> now, um, I'm the drummer. <laughs> what's that offensive weapon you've got there? Those are your well, drumsticks. It's, um, just a pair of sticks a fan have just bought me, you know, because we're going away and they put my name on. Yeah. And it's no. good, you know. Well, you say you're going away. That leads us on to another question now. Where are you going? Germany. Hamburg. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you have... Two weeks. Standing in great engagements over there, haven't you? At well, the boys have been there quite a lot, you know, and mm -hmm. I've been there with other groups, but this is the first time I've been there with the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Well, Paul, you tell us, how did you get in on the act in Germany? Well, it was all through an old agent. We first went there for, for uh, a fellow who used to manage us and Mr. Alan Williams of the Jacaranda Club in Liverpool and he found the engagement so we sort of went there and then went under our own steam, steam as, they, <laughs> as they say afterwards, you know. Mm -hmm. And we've just been going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. <laughs> You're not dizzy at all? Well, yes, actually, yes. yes, yes. It's, my, it's my left leg, you know, the war. <laughs> <laughs> George, um, were you um, brought up in Liverpool? Yes, oh, ah, yes. Uh, whereabouts? Well, born in Wavertree and bred in Wavertree and speak. Mm -hmm. Well, the aeroplanes are, you know, yes, yeah. so, you know, the aeroplanes. Uh, are you all Liverpool types then? Yes. Uh, yes. Types, oh, yes. Yeah. Liverpool types. Now, bread. I'm told that you were actually in the same form as young Ron Witcherly now. Ronald, yes. Yes, now Billy Fury. In St. Silas. In which? St. Silas. Really? Yes, I'm sure it was. Now, it was. <laughs> it wasn't Jingle Bell, like you said, in the Musical Express. Oh. No, that was no, wrong. That was right. a, mm. you know, wrong St. Brother. Silas School. I well, now, I'd like to introduce, if I may, a young disc jockey who uh, helps us out with programmes at Cleaver and Catterbridge Hospitals. His name is Malcolm Threadgill. He's 16 years old. And I'm sure you'd like to ask some questions from the teenage point of view, Malcolm. Yes, thank you. Um, I understand you've made uh, other recordings before on German label. Yeah. So right, what ones were they? Well, we did make, uh, made, first of all we made a recording with a fellow called Tony Sheridan. We were working at a club called the Top Ten Club in Hamburg. And we made a recording with him called My Bonnie, which got to number five in the German hip parade, but <laughs> it, never, it didn't do a thing over here. You know, it, was, uh, it wasn't a very good record, but so the Germans must have liked it a bit, you know. And we... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> begging your pardon. And we did uh, an instrumental which was released in France on an, LP, uh, on an EP of Tony Sheridan's, which George and John wrote themselves. But that didn't... That wasn't released here. We've got one copy, that's all. You know, it didn't do anything. Uh, you composed um, P.S. I Love You and um, Love Me Do yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Who, who, com who does the composing? Well, it's John and I, we write, you know, sort of the songs between us. Yeah. It's, you know, we've, we've sort of signed contracts and things to say that, you know, if we sort equal of... Equal shares. Yeah, equal yeah. shares and royalties and things, so that, you know, really we just both write most of the stuff. George did write this instrumental, you know, as we say, but mainly it's John and I. We've written about, over about a hundred songs, but we don't use half of them, you know. We just happened to sort of rearrange Love Me Do and played it to the recording people and PSI The View. And uh, they seemed to quite like it, you know, so that's what we recorded. And that was Paul McCartney telling you all about it. Mm -hmm. Is there any more of your own um, compositions you intend to record? Well, we, we did record another song of our own when we were down there, but it wasn't, wasn't finished enough. 
So, no, we'll take it back next time and see how they like it then. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's all to my end. <laughs> well, thank you for asking the questions, Malcolm. Um, now, I would, but in closing, I would like to just ask you, um, we're recording this at Hume Hall, Port Sunlight. Did you, uh, did any of you <coughs> I'll start again in English. Yeah. <laughs> did any of you come over this side before you became famous, as it were? Do you know this mm -hmm. district? Well, like famous, you know. If, <laughs> if being famous is being in the hip parade, well, we've been over here. Uh, we were here about two months ago. Been here twice, haven't we? I've got Rock. relations here, yeah. Rock Ferry. Have you? Yes. Oh, all sides of the water, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a relation in uh, Claughton Village, yes. Upton Road. I was a friend in Birkenhead. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had. I know a man <laughs> in Chester. <laughs> now, that's a very dangerous thing to say. There's a mental home there, mate. Um, well, never mind. Peter, uh, Peter, Smether, Peter Smethurst is here as well. I'll get me right teeth in. <laughs> yeah, okay. And he looks as though he's bursting to say a question. Yeah, well, there's just one question I'd like to ask. Uh, I'm sure it's the question everyone's asking there. Uh, I like your impressions on first appearance on television. Well, you know, strangely enough, we thought we were going to be dead nervous, and everyone said, you suddenly, when you see the cameras, you realise that there were two million people watching, because there were two million watching that, people in places that we did, we heard afterwards. But, you know, strangely enough, it, it didn't, you know, it didn't come to us, we didn't think at all about that, and it was much easier doing the television than it was doing the radio, it's still nerve-wracking, but it was a little bit easier than doing radio because there was a full audience for the radio broadcast. Do you find it nerve-wracking doing this now? <laughs> yeah. anyway, we hope we've got a full audience in uh, both hospitals, Clatterbridge and Cleaver, and over at Cleaver Hospital, uh, a certain record on Parlophone, the top side has been requested for Eileen in Robert Cock Ward from Maddy, and strangely enough, for Maddy from Eileen in the same ward, so perhaps the Beatles themselves would like to tell them what it's going to be. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be Love oh, Me Do. Oh, yeah. oh, nine, four, nine. <laughs> <laughs> love Me Do. Quiet, folks. And I'm sure from them it, the answer is P.S. I love you. Yeah. <laughs>